Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Standards channel. My name is Shanks and today we're gonna take a look into the new update of Age of the Ring 6.0 and into the new faction Woodland Realm. Age of the Ring, by the way guys, if you don't know, is a mod for Battle for Middle Earth 2, the Rise of the Witch King. Before further ado, let's get it started. Alright guys, this is the Woodland Realm faction, this is the Woodland Realm Fortress. It looks like a, like a stone with the big tree on the top. These are our starting two builders, we're gonna build some farms, they are called hunt, uh, Hunting Shrine. And while they are building up, we're gonna take a look also into our power points from the spellbook. So we have the Horn of the Gate, which is something like War Chant. It's gonna increase the damage and armor of our units by 50% each. We have the Hidden Sentries, a Reveal Shroud and summons 3 Sylvan Hunters in the targeted area. We're gonna actually start with this one, I guess. And then we have the Elvin Evoke them. Summons a tree that knocks back enemy units and stealths ner uh, stealth nervy allied units, okay. And then we have uh, with the 25, I mean, we're gonna read them once we are able to pick them. With 25 we have two abilities, which is one of them is gonna be a sign of the good fortune. Summons the white stack, I don't know what it is, we're gonna take a look into that. But I think we're gonna see on the picture, we have already some imagination how it's gonna look like. And the second one is the great hand of Orami. Uh, which is, I think, one of the Valars, or one of the Vala, because Vala is the plural. <laughs> Enemy units within the radius lose armor and damage, so it's like a debuff. But it's not, we are not done yet, so heroes within the radius have their cooldown timers recharged and are healed. All friendly units on the battlefield uh, can trample enemy units, and that counts not only of, uh, on the calf, but also on any unit you have. All calf units on the battlefield gain 50% increased armor against spearmen. So, I mean, a lot of uh, tools you are actually make your, you are able to make your units stronger, make your heroes recharge their abilities and make the enemy units weaker as well. Alright, so we're gonna start with a hero as well, we're gonna pick up uh, Legolas, just why not. Because 3000 here, just like in Battle for Middle Earth 2 and Rise of the Witch King. Pretty strong hero overall. We are also able to recruit Tauriel, uh, Galeon, uh, Feren. Radagask, the Brown, uh, Grimborn, uh, Legolas, and also his daddy, Transwheel. I'm sorry, the King Transwheel. Alright, so we're gonna build some more farms. We're gonna have to increase our command points and resource income, obviously. We are against a Gondo faction on the other side. This is a skirmish match, so nothing too crazy. We are against a peasant Gondo, by the way, guys. That's the difficulty. <laughs> You can already see yourself, I'm a really talented player in this mod. Joke, joke side, I think that's the first time I play a skirmish in each of the ring mods. Normally, my channel, as you guys know, is you know more based on the vanilla games, Battle for Middle Earth 2, but also Rise of the Witch King. But I think a lot of a lot of you guys wanted to see the Age of the Ring updates and how to download and install that. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description down below. The installation is pretty easy, all you have to do is double click on an execution file. Legolas has arrived, we're gonna use the aggressive stance to maximize our damage output. Now we're gonna go for the creep, the work layer on the right side of the river. By the way, we are also on the map Forts of Aizen, with a second Legolas can actually deal with them. Those are Gondor soldiers, not Gondor soldiers, but I can't even see what they're gonna... Uh, Labadeon clansmen. I think they are like a weaker Gondor soldier battalion. Because Age of the Ring allows you to recruit many different types of units. We were almost able to get level 2. Pretty nice. So we're gonna make some more farms, I think, against peasants. We don't need to rush units. And then we're gonna take a look also into the units we are able to recruit from the Woodland Realm faction. Um, Legolas is dealing not that great amount of damage to the Vorklinger, which makes sense. It's gonna be level 2 now. We have Hoax Strike ability available, which is called Twin, Sh Twin Arrows. Uh, it's available with level 1 already. So now we have a couple of farms on the field. I think it's time for us to start making some units. Um, this video shouldn't be that long um, because you can always take a look into everything what you're interested in by yourself. Again, the installation of each of the ring is quite easy. It's gonna be like a quick rundown. Let's make a barracks now. Uh, let's make the barracks right there. Beautiful. The buildings are looking pretty dope to me as well. Look at that. That's a farm. 
Looks nice. And you are also able to make the Greenwoods Vineyard. Um, Alright, so it's also something like a, like a farm. We're gonna take a look into that one as well. Okay, well, last, you need to defend this, my friend. Let's make a hook strike. That's, uh, it looks pretty much the same way. Now, those are Spearman units. They're called Linhir Spearman from the Gondor faction. By the way, each of the ring allows you to play 10 different factions, guys. Uh, and the Woodland Realm is the newest one. Beautiful. And also, if you want to play solo player campaign, it's amazing. Trust me on that one. It's pretty nice. Legolas was actually still able to kill the Warkly, huh? The older should be fine. Gonna go around that, so he's not gonna kill him. Nice. Now we can finish off this work as well, and now we can finish off the Rebel. Alright, uh, the tower here is called the Woodland Lookout. We're gonna build one of them in the middle of the map. Legolas should be able to finish off the Rebel as well. That's gonna give him some experience. He should be hitting level 4. There we go. Now grab the treasure on the ground. Okay, talking about the barracks, so we can here make the Woodman Hunters with uh, the level 1. With level 2, we are able to make the Druid of the Oaken Order uh, Berserkers. And with level 3, we are able to make the Barkeeping. Okay, we're gonna take a, take a look into that as well. We're gonna make one of these and upgrade immediately to level 2, just to see all the possible units from this building. And we can also make the second barracks now. So that one was uh, the lodge, okay, one is this one, now we're gonna make the normal barracks, right next to it. Beautiful. Alright, those are like swordsmen, look, they look like pirates to me a little bit. They are like, no, not swordsmen, they are archers actually, look at that. The design is looking pretty nice. They don't look all the same, one of them, you know, a couple of them are wearing hats, different hairs, so a lot of time. Uh, is invested into them, as you can see. Level 4 is also able to train the archers, so we might be able to hit them level 2. Let's see. Yeah, level 3 almost, by the way. That's a huge power spike. Um, Look at that. Loyal, nice. Companions, that do, you're, gonna, you're gonna have some dogs around you. <laughs> That's pretty nice. For, the ter for 30 seconds, target units or hero is marked by the Bootsman bootsman Hunters. Target takes 50% more damage from Woodman attacks. Okay. So you can target, you can use it on a on a unit or on a hero. Then your units are gonna deal 50% increased damage. Alright. So we're gonna make a hoax strike here right in the middle. Use the aggressive stance where they're gonna also attack automatically just to see how much damage they should be able to deal. Attack them maybe, guys? Today, before we lose the farm. And now they have dogs around them. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Oh, they are like a, like a multi-talented uh, units. You can also switch them to the axe. Now they have now they are pretty much like swordsmen or X-men in this case. You get it? You get it? Here we are able to make some different units. We're gonna take a look into every single one of them. Let's make these now. We also have to keep making more and more farms, obviously, to increase our command points and resources. Legolas is level 5 now, he's pretty strong. They have a tower in the middle of the map as well, so we should be just fine. I would love to make another tower here. You know, just one in each pathway to have some sort of protection. And I think the next one we're gonna make here, which is gonna be pretty offensive. That's why we can also end up making two of them. To block this river. Okay, Legolas is gonna get more and more experience. And with level 10, by the way, guys, he will have... Dwarf friend summons Gimli, son of Gloin, on the battlefield. <laughs> pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, now these are the swordsmen coming from this building, which is called Royal Barracks. And now we will also get to see the other units. Where are they, though? Where are they, though? There are some debuffs going on, I think, automatically, kinda. Alright, they're gonna take damage over time. Legolas is getting more and more experience. Those are also swordsmen. We have two different types of swordsmen. Um, yeah, they are also swordsmen, just like the others. One of them is called uh, Megil Herdir. Cost 800, by the way, quite in quite expensive units. And Spear Slayers, strong versus spam infantry, and the other one is strong versus pikemen. 
Okay, we have a tower now here, but we can also make another farm around this side. Now we will be using our uh, second builder to make another tower right there. And again, I will potentially end up making two towers here, just to have some sort of protection. Okay, we can also upgrade that one with the Silver one Fletching, which is something like Silvertone Arrows from the Elven faction in Rise of the Witch King, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, they have like a, they are like Gondor soldiers, and they are more like offensive soldier battalion, if I'm not mistaken. Because look at that, when you use the loose formation, they're gonna get 50% increased attack speed. They lose armor, they are like glass cannons in this case. I've not seen these units before. Did we not recruit them? I think we did. But I couldn't see them, so I don't know where they are. We have a lot of money, we can also end up making another hero here, just why not? Just get the daddy. Uh, from Legolas on the field now. Beautiful. Okay, the tower is coming up here. We can also end up making more farms. And if he is not expanding around this side, we can also block this pathway with a couple of towers. Our command points are looking great. We have 800 command points collected in total. Oh, this is the unit. Oh, wait a second. What's that? It's a, it's a druid, okay? So we can... It's like something like the Trailmaster unit. Um, okay. A new structure has been completed. It's like a sportive unit. Okay, makes sense. Oh, wait a second. I need to defend this one. 1000. Allows Druid to use a portion of potency ability targeted hero to uh, temporarily gain 75% armor and 25% increased damage. It's pretty nice, but we unfortunately gonna end up losing this farm here. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be unfortunate. Okay, now we can upgrade that to level three to see the other two units we are able to recruit. And same goes here. Tranduil has arrived. Oh, let's take a deep look into him. It looks like he's a swordsman. He's a staff in his hands. The design is looking pretty nice to me. And he's a swordsman in this uh, faction. Normally, as you guys know, in Rise of the Witch King, at least he's a swordsman. I mean, he's an archer hero. But in the Woodland Realm faction, in Age of the Ring, he's a Swordsman hero. And I definitely end up making the second one here. And let's expand during all this time around the top left side at the same time. Beautiful. Now our building here will be level 3. And that's gonna give us the chance to recruit more units. Um... Oh, okay, that's like a sportive thing. And the Berserkers, they cost 1,500 each. But they are pretty much strong against everything but pikemen. They are strong against infantry, including the pikemen, obviously. Structures and heroes. I would love to see them. The barracks is looking nice, but we have also even more barracks than that. However, I think we will need some towers here around this side to have a protection. And one tower all alone is not gonna make it. So we're gonna make... Oh, wait a second, there is a work layer. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Grant for your life, my friend. We are also... Look at that. We are able to recruit even some units from the farms. Okay, so let's make a tower here. Oh, the builder has to be careful, though. The towers are not dealing too much damage. We're gonna end up making another tower here. Because I don't want to be worried about this side too much. I want to actually focus during the... Um, you know, through the middle. This makes sense for you guys. Okay, Tranduil is here. Now we're gonna get those Berserkers on the field. Let's make now also some of these two units we were not able to recruit before. Towers are quite tanky as well. With three towers, I think we should have a great amount of protection during the, you know, from this pathway. This one might get destroyed slowly but surely, but I think it's fine. It's fine. Beautiful. Now the tower is coming up. We have almost full command points. That's really nice. We have two heroes, one of them is level 6 on the field, Legolas. And where is the units? Here they are. They are like three units inside the battalion only. They look like this. They are like X fighters. Uh, okay, allows bird. Quick. Recover. Okay, it's like a it's like a healing ability. With level 3. Uh, you are getting 50% increased resistance against. Archers, and with level 5, the Wild Rage, uh, 
battle, uncontrollable battle rage. They become resistant to knockback and their movement speed, armor and attack damage are greatly increased. And they cannot be controlled for the duration. So you can't even control them. They're gonna do whatever they want. <laughs> Pretty dope units. Okay, we are now getting more units and with level 3 we are also able to make... I think those are horses if I'm not mistaken, but we shall see. We are also uh, um, able to save the tower, which is really nice. Now the, our command points are going to be increased to 1000, which is the full amount. You can't have more than 1000, but you can also have more resources, that's possible. Having more command points is not possible though. Okay, we can't expand here, but that's fine. I would just uh, make another tower here, protect this pathway. If protection here now, we can expand without being too much worried about, about a potential attack. Because the opponent units, they will have to deal with these three towers first. And also upgrade them, by the way. Upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. Pretty nice. Also, this one has to be upgraded. Beautiful. And during the middle, we, you know, in the middle we have also a tower. But also a lot of units. Uh, that should be fine. Our Legolas is getting more and more experience when he's going to be close nearby. You can... It's not even limited to one thing. You can actually make the droids pretty much... Like, really sportive. And can target units to decrease their movement speed by 5 up to 25% and buildings to decrease their armor. It's like a really sportive unit. I think it's kind of exclusive to this one faction. Okay. Now it's level 2. We can make one of these and then get a level 3 building. And now we will have to make another, uh, another structures. <clears throat> this is the armory, it's called Tranduil's Treasury. Uh, we have the barracks already, we have the lodge already. And then we can also make the clearing, which is I think another barracks here. Let's build it right there. I want my barracks all at the same place. That's absolutely fine. And um oh, that's like a like a like a tunnel system, okay. But I wanna see the armory first. Let's make the armory so we can, you know, purchase upgrades on our units to make them stronger. Level 3 is incoming, that's gonna give us the chance to recruit those units. But I am kinda a fan of these berserkers, not gonna lie guys, I wanna have more of these on the field. They cost also 90 command points, so they are not cheap at all. Like, they are really expensive in terms of money, look at that, uh, they cost 1500 each, they are, you know, more expensive than heroes. They are more expensive than those two... Even then those three heroes there, it's, you know, that means they're gonna be very strong. So I wanna make more of them. Towers are doing work, they should be able to deal with these units, not a big deal. We have also one of them here, look at that. Um, okay. Nice one. I think we should be fine. Armory is coming up. The other building is also up on the field. Here we are able to make some cheap units, but we're not gonna go for them. I don't wanna waste my command points for that. Uh, we have these expensive units now on the field. And I think we need also some units, you know, to destroy the enemy buildings. Because archers all alone are not gonna make the work. Now we will be able to recruit some of these horses. Because also 1000 each, so I'm assuming they're gonna be strong. And now what we can do is we can go for the siege weapons. I want to see what kind of siege weapons you are able to recruit with the Woodsland Realm faction. Oh, talking about siege weapons, guys. Talking about siege weapons, so I want to send my heroes here because I see some rocks and they have some trebuchets, I think, on the field. We will have to deal with them. We will have to deal with them. Uh, make more of them. We're going to be command points capped soon, unfortunately. And we are also kind of down on resources. And losing the towers is not going to make a, you know, it's not going to help us. Let's go for a hook strike right there. And Transul has to deal with this trebuchet. He was also able to share experience. He's level 2 now. One tower is remaining. Oh, don't attack them. He has multiple. Oof, oof, oof. Don't run for your life, Legolas. Please, 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 please. Can you get him in the, in the tower? I think you can. Okay, nice. Finally, we were able to get him level 3 and the trebuchet has been taken down. We can also get Legolas inside the tower, by the way. That's a possibility as well. Okay, I think he might be in trouble. Wait a second, can I choose something here to help him out? So I can choose the Elven King's Feast. Alright. 
and this one because I want to go for this ability. I want to. I have to go for this one, and they can use it. Maybe Legolas is inside. The, inside the. Oh, look at that. Okay. We get armor, and they are also able to heal up over time. But I think I might lose both my heroes. We will need some reinforcements here. And my when the when the farm is going down, my Legolas is gonna die. I think I will have to run for my life. Run for your life now. Um, we will need a well, which is I think this one. And now my units are coming. Should be just fine. Kill with the steal with the horses. I was able to save my units. You can go for a trample here. Nice. We will have to deal with the trebuchets first. This is the main priority. Because they are dealing, you know, quite a lot of damage to our structures. Okay, that's gonna give us more movement speed. We might end up losing them because there are some pikemen around, but I think that's fine. We have to deal with the trebuchets. They are being body blocked big time, guys. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, so we will have to deal with those units. There's only one tower. I hope not. I hope he's not gonna attack me through the middle. Upgrades wise, we didn't purchase everything just yet. But the revenge is gonna taste really nice because we're gonna attack him now. We're gonna go for a counter attack, guys, for the first time. I think we have quite quite a, quite a lot of units on the field. And we should be just fine. We have Berserkers here. They are leveling up. Power points are rising as well. Power point wise, we are really ahead, I would say. So command point wise, we have full command points, great amount of resource income. And just kill this trebuchet here. And we're gonna go for a counter attack. Uh, switch weapon wise, we can make a battering ram. Uh, we can make one of them. Then the second thing is looking like a ballista to me, but we shall see. Okay, let's go for the attack now. We have almost 15 power points collected. And we have a well here, and I have to recover this area with some more towers. And actually, this guy can help him out and make the second tower immediately. Okay, so let's see how strong our units are. I gotta keep an eye. 15 power points collected now. And now we are able to get either the lights go out, which is... Cancels western winds, uh, freezing rain, and the sun rises, blessing. Okay, it's something like a... Like a yeah, it's something like a cloud break. But it looks like it doesn't... it does not stun the enemy units. They lose, howsoever, some vision, experience, gain, and attack damage, but it's not stunning them. It's more about cancelling the enemy's effect. And... Enormous... Oh, that's nice. Insta. That's, that's an insta. That's much better than Aerovent. Look at that. Instantly. Instantly coming, you know, without any animation. It's much, much better than the Aerovent from Rise of the Witch King, because Aerovent has like a, like a... Like a timer. Enemy can see the first arrow and then he has time to react but in this case he has no time to react at all okay let's kill these towers here can we, can, can we kill it okay i mean we will have to retreat i guess oh i didn't pay attention Transwheel it's fallen fortunately but not a big deal we can revive him if another unit's here the ram we will have to peel back though our command points are pretty low and finish. We need to kill this guy. I want to see the ram in action. We will have to deal with these horses first. I would love to make an army full on these berserkers, though. I gotta be honest with you guys. They cost a lot of command points, don't get me wrong. Kill this. And let's see the ram's damage. Now this is level 2. Now we will also get the chance to recruit some of these. Our resources are kind of... That's gonna be... I need to cancel that one. It's actually making quite a lot of... Uh, trebuchets now. Can we attack one time? Are these towers though? Uh, metal tower. Yes, a lot of towers. Look at that. He's playing very defensively. I mean, not really. I think I'm playing much more defensively than him. There's now uh, some Gundam Knights on the field. We will have to recover around the well. Which is already damaged. Towers are getting kind of taken down. 
we will need some units also around this side. And I think um, we will have to make some horses. Let's make some horses. Because horses are really great counters to the siege weapons. They are quite mobile, as we know. I'm gonna wait for one more. Let's actually go for attack now. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, this side is nicely protected. Thank God that he's not attacking that side with siege weapons. I need to cancel that. The Vortics are hitting it. Let's build that here. I'm just, you know, making them to keep the opponent busy because, you know, we are against the IE. So he's gonna attack multiple structures before he's gonna go to this side. This side is not protected at all. Kill the siege weapons. Nice. Hidden sentries. So it's gonna it's gonna heal up over time, I guess. Power points are rising. We have no war chance, but we have a level 9 Legolas. That's really nice. Hopefully we might get him level 10 later on. Um power points are rising, we might get the chance to see the 25. I mean, there are still a lot of structures we have to kill first. Kill this here. I mean, I want to group them differently. If a lot of these units. This is the farm from Gonzo. Look, it looks also pretty nice to me. I'm just curious about the damage they are able to deal. Trandul has returned as well. They are dealing quite a lot of damage, guys. Okay, now they have this ability. I think they are like mini heroes, right? Can you level them up to level 10? No, it's not possible. Only heroes can be leveled up to level 10. But one of them is already level 5. Now we can't control them anymore. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna pop, you know, they're gonna pop off now. They are raging, guys. Power points are rising to the sky. I love to see that. Ooh, but look at that. Ranzuel has to deal with them. But we are full on command points, that's the problem. Just run for your life. Let's make a let's make a battle tower here. Run for your life. I hope the work is not gonna attack that. Power points are rising, and now we are able to use the, a sign of the good fortune. And now we are able to summon the white stack. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for it. And here he comes. What's that? <laughs> All right. What, what what does it do? That's the that's the problem. That's the question. Is immune to all attacks, but may trample enemy units. Okay, you can trample down the enemy units. But you are not able to attack the enemy structures. Okay. But you are able to trample them down. That's the first ability. Oh, but the second thing is kind of dope. Look at that. Nerby friendly units gain. Yes, you heard it exactly right. Plus 300% increased armor and resistant to fear and terror. Plus 300, you know, armor? That's... What the heck? That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Oh my god, the works are attacking it. No. And the last ability is... For one minute, Nervy units and heroes gain 300% experience and immunity to magical and elemental damage. I mean, it's kind of... Hmm. Meh. You know, like, I don't like it. They are shining bright like a diamond now. Uh, run for your life, you are level 5. Run, 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 run. run. Let me survive with them. Okay. I don't want to kill the fortress yet. Let's kill the farm. Because I want to get my guy level 10. Can you run also for your life, please? Nice. We can make more of these. Uh, there are the enemy units. I want to get my level... Oh, there we go, guys. Gimli is here. Time remaining. Okay. So we have now Gimli. We are able to summon from Legolas level 10. Leap attack. Let's do it. Booyah! There we go. Oh, I hate I hate to do that, Pippin, but run for your life. Pippin. Pippin. Oh, there is also another hero. Gimli has no levels, but he has the X Master. Look at that. Left click to tag, uh, toggle between Balin's X, double handed, and Gloin's X. Walking X. Balin's X grants additional armor and splash damage, Gloin's X grants movement speed and attack speed. I don't know what we have now. Uh, can tell what what one is that? Yeah, it, it's a double edge, uh, double edged. I mean, double handed X. And now it's a single handed X. Okay, makes sense. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't like this one. I mean, it's not bad at all, but 
I was expecting a big shenanigan, you know, with a 25 summon, you are able to summon a big beast, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, he can't take any damage, but he is kind of relying on your units. So you will have to have, like, a lot of units on the field to make him work, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can't do anything solo. Yes, you can trample down the enemy units, but that's pretty much it. Gimli, leap attack, my friends, leap attack. Wait a second, well, I can't cancel it, but it's fine. When I kill, the time remaining is going down quite slow, so he was on the field for a quite long time, I guess. These two towers are still doing work, I like it. And uh, now we can actually keep expanding, but look at our money, so we have all the money we need. So, we should still, oh, you can also make the ballistas. I'm actually surprised about the siege weapons of the Woodsland Realm faction, because they are similar to the Isengard faction's siege weapons. Okay, now we can recruit all of these, I guess. Berserkers, be careful. Group here, I want you to heal. And with the next push, we will be able to end the game, boys. And guys, please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Normally, as you guys know, we have not done too much for Age of the Ring in this uh, YouTube channel. Um, there is no actual reason for that. I mean, we were just much more focusing on Battle for Middle-earth 2 and Rise of the Witch King tournaments. But if you want to see more of these videos in the future, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any trouble for some reason downloading and installing the Age of the Ring, the link for that is going to be in the video description down below. Just join our Discord community, guys. And feel free to ask whatever you need to be you need to have fixed. So we will be, we will be happy to help you guys out. Alright, so let's go for attack now. I think that's gonna be the final attack. He has not a fortress on the field anymore. We should be just fine. Uh, let's build another tower here. He's gonna be getting in safety. Some soldiers were able to get through, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Can we make one of them? I think we can make one of So they should be hopefully able to protect. Legolas is level 10 ability has a long cooldown. And the good thing here is you can also permanently fight with Sword. But with Transuel that's not possible. What's that? No one may enter. So you have a circle here and everyone... Yeah, they can enter that but they lose movement speed and take damage over time. Okay. Oh, there is Gollum. Can we kill him? He's running though. He's running into the troll there. It's so funny that Troll is not gonna attack him, but he's dealing quite a lot of damage, guys, right? Yes! I mean, we were able to get the ring now, but we won't be able to see him because we are about to finish the game. Can I bring him to the fortress? This is the main question. My units are leveling up like crazy. Now we can also choose some different abilities, maybe this one. And then we can go for the second 25. It's like, yeah, it's like Cloud Break. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's not Cloud Break as bright, it's like more like an afternoon kind of thing. And wait a second, I want to see, first of all, which one we are able to recruit from the ring. Because I don't know. I also want to see the Wild Rage. When you use Wild Rage, they, they, they can't, you can't control them, right? You can't control them. You can't even select them, guys. Can't even select them. We were able to get the ring here, and now we are able to recruit. It's Bilbo Baggins. Let's recruit him first before we're gonna end the opponent. Because I wanna see what he's able to do. I have to go back though with my units. Because I think if we end up killing all the barracks, and there are only one, two, three barracks left. Not barracks, but production buildings, they are called in Battle for Middle Earth games. So buildings, you are able. Uh, no, to recruit units. Oh my god, this units though. Do you guys see that? They are smashing those horses. Holy quackamole. They are hitting like an absolute truck, boys. That's so nice. Level 5. I wanna I wanna you know go in with them. I'm actually curious. So let them heal. I mean they are full health, so let's go just just let's let's go, right? Just let's go. You know, during this time maybe um Bilbo Baggins should also join the battlefield. And that's also a nice future, by the way, guys. Uh, that you don't only have the chance to recruit Galadriel with the good factions and Sauron with the evil factions, but we have so much more 
possibilities with each faction, you know? Now Bilbo is on the field, the ring hero of the Woodsland Realm faction. He comes out with level 10, but for now, I want to actually focus with this guy. So one second, guys, then we're going to take a look into the Bilbo and just to see what he's able to do. Go aggressive stance and use the rage. Now you can't recruit, you can't control them anymore, but they're going to just do what they want to do. And during all this time, they should be technically able to deal much more damage. But how much percentage? I don't know, because it doesn't tell us in the description here on the on the ability. He's also not, they are also not kind of attacking smartly. Uh, the duration is not lasting that long. They are also dealing quite a lot of damage to the buildings. It's a level 3 barracks after all, guys. With quite a lot of health, and those are only 3 units. I mean, you can kind of argue with me and say, yes, they are level 10. They're also trampling down the enemy units. I mean, these are really legitimately very, very strong units, guys. Very, very strong units. And I also like the fact that you are able to make those Ferreder units from the farms. So you have some sort of protection early on if you don't have any units around. They are also the they are coming really fast on the field. And are kind of dealing quite a lot of damage as well. But yeah, let's take a look into Bilbo. Bilbo is the ring hero of the Woodsland Realm faction. We're gonna zoom in a little bit just to see how it's, how it's gonna look like. I mean, the graphics are looking pretty nice. Look at that. You are able to toggle between rock and sword. Now, you, we have the sword here. Uh, we have the rock, actually, in his hands. You can also use the one ring to get stealthed. You can also move like that. But the Eye of Sauron might come and reveal you randomly. Then you have the Riddle Maker, causes enemy units in the radius to fight amongst themselves. That's really nice as well. Then you have the Bilbo's Courage, which is something like a, like a active leadership. Or no, it's like a passive leadership, okay? It's a passive, I was not reading that. 50% damage and 50% armor, that's quite a lot. It's like a permanent war chant. But it's a leadership. No, it's a spell, so it always stacks as well. Stacks with leadership buffs and spells, so you can make your units really strong when Bilbo is around. I mean, he's a hero you can recruit for, for 1600 after all, right? And then the ultimate ability, its old friends, summons Gandalf the Grey. There he comes, boys. Gandalf the Grey himself. You have the Disturber of the Peace. Shoots off a firework at the selected target. Then you have... Uh, what's happening here, actually? They are fighting all the time. Now we have also these power points collected. We're going to take a look into them as well before we finish. You have the Forehammer, which is like a, uh, like a lightning sword, I think. There is no target, obviously. You have the Gandalf's card. Summons Gandalf's traveling card. Heals Nervia allies. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Time remaining, obviously, not permanently. Then you have the uh, Let's Risk a Little More Light. Nervia archers gain 20% increased range and 15% increased damage. That's quite a lot as well. In combination with Bilbo Baggins' uh, leadership. I mean, the archers can literally hit like an absolute truck. Then with level 10, you shall not pass. Stuns enemy units in a wide radius surrounding Gandalf. It looks like this. It's like a... Oh yeah, it's something... It's something... Ah, okay, makes sense. It's something from the movies, guys. It's pretty much the same thing from the movies. I'm actually curious. Can you also put them... Oh, they look different with level 3. They look different with level 3, the farms. Okay. They look so different. No, they don't look different. My bad, my bad. I was kind of kind of confused. Okay, uh, and Tranduil's level 10 is uh, Memory of Mordor. Tranduil is surrounded by memories of the Blacklands Mordor. Enemy units are terrified, take damage, lose all leadership and deal 50% less damage. Tranduil is vul invulnerable while the power is active but cannot move. That's crazy, guys. He's He can't take damage. He's gonna debuff the enemy units big time. He's gonna fear them everything. So pretty impressive, if you ask me. Anyways, now we have also the ability, which is the Great Hand of Aromi. Let's, let's use it, maybe, on our units. So the way it works is... I'm gonna show you guys. The way it works is uh, you can now summon Gimli. You use that here and summon Gimli again. Now we have two Gimlis, literally, on the field, right? No. Okay, so you can't have two Gimlis at the same time. That's not possible. That would be kind of nice. 
because we were using it again, so it's kind of wasted. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's go for the final attack. If, if I'm not mistaken, we should now be able to finish him off. Uh, the way it works is, for example, it also works, I think it should be working also on Bilbo. So you summon Gandalf, then the ability goes on cooldown, obviously. Then you can use this uh, 25 ability uh, from the spellbook of the Woodsland Realm faction. Then you can recruit Gandalf immediately again, so it's pretty nice. We have Gimli also on the field, let's go with the solo thing. Let's go for a beautiful... Oh, at the choke point, can we do it? He's gonna leap, boys! Booyah! I mean, you gotta love Gimli, guys, don't you? I think Gimli is so nice. They are also so nice. They are so strong. Bilbo with the... with the. He's quite fast as well, look his movement speed! Look at that! I mean, he's running like crazy, guys. Run, forest, run! Beautiful. Guys, as we are about to end this game, please don't forget to leave a like on this video because high likes are helping out quite a lot for the YouTube algorithm, guys. Comment in the comment section below if you want to see more of these videos in the future. And what do you guys think about the Woodland Realm faction? What do you guys think about each of the ring in general? Uh, I think it's a great mod for fun. But I also don't think I also think that it's not very competitively designed because there are ten factions and you can't make them balance all together. That we cannot use this mod for a potential tournament. But I might be wrong. I have never tested it before. Let me know your experiences, guys, in the comment section below. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. And if this is your very first time on this channel and you are looking for more for more Battle for Middle Earth content in the future, please consider subscribing as well. Take care. Have a great one, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace, boys.